morning, boys and girls. How has your day been so far? Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up today. We don't take it for granted. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be alive today. And thank you for enabling us to come and watch this CBS service and enable us to learn something from it and practice it in our daily lives and enable the teachers to teach well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's welcome the praise and worship team.
worship team for leading us so well and also for praying for us. We, we thank God for you. May the Lord bless you. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are well. Those who are listening to us and those who are watching us on TV and on our social media platforms, you are welcome to be with us. My name is Pastor Njeri from Sitam, and I'm joined by Victory Wamboy and Kiama Kimani. Thank you. I hope you have your notebook, your pen, and your Bible. Thank you so much and welcome for our lesson this morning. Were you in, the, in class last week? Did you listen to our lesson that we learned last week? I hope you did. Kindly get your notebook and check what we learned last week if you have already forgotten. But we will remind you. What did we learn last week? Our topic was Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi means the Lord, our victorious banner. Our banner gives us identity just like our Kenyan flag gives us identity outside our country. And the Lord makes us his representatives here on earth. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria, for reminding us. That was our lesson last week. Did we have a memory verse? Yes, we did. John mm -hmm. chapter 12, verse 32. And it says, but I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. Thank you. We have been learning about the names of God. And I know you have been in class with us and you have been learning with us. When we learned about Jehovah Elohim, we learned about Jehovah Nisi. We have learned about Jehovah, our provider, Jehovah Jireh. And I know you are learning. Kindly make sure you go back to your notes and remind yourself and even the memory verses that we have learned. But let me ask a question. Who is a shepherd? A shepherd is a person who takes care of, sh of sheep and livestock by treating them, feeding them, and caring even those who are weak. I hope you have heard what uh, Kiama has told us. Have you ever seen a shepherd? Boys and girls who are listening to us, do you know what a shepherd does? Yes, we have been told a shepherd takes care of his sheep and a shepherd protects his sheep. Something else? Also, a shepherd makes a shed where the cattle or the livestock enter and spend the night there. They close the door and spend there in safety. Thank you. Yes, a shepherd does not leave his sheep out there. He brings them back home, puts them in a shed and closes the door so that nobody or no animal comes to attack the sheep. That is what a shepherd does. Our lesson today is on Jehovah Rohi, the Lord, our shepherd. And we are going to learn how Jesus is a shepherd to us. Our Bible reading today comes from the book of John chapter 10, from verse 1 to verse 15. Kiama will read for us from verse 1 to verse 7, and then Victoria will read the remaining portion from verse 8 to verse 15. Kindly pick your Bible. And take your pen and notebook and write John chapter 10, verse 1 to 15, and then let us read together. John 10, 1 to 7. And it says, I tell you the truth, the man who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The man who enters by the gate is the shepherd of his sheep. The watchman opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from the stranger, from him, because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but they did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. All who, I'm reading from John verse eight, chapter 10 to 8 to 15. It says, All who ever come before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and they have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 
The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees a wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just like the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my, my life for the sheep. Thank you. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for reading with us. And thank you, Kema and Victoria, for helping us go through the portion of Scripture. The Bible talks of Jesus as a shepherd. The people who lived in those days of Jesus, the time Jesus was on earth, there are people who used to keep a lot of flock, a lot of sheep, a lot of goats. And when Jesus says that he is the shepherd, the people would understand what he is talking about. And so today we want to know how is Jesus our shepherd? Because he is our shepherd. He takes care of us and he, 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 he protects us and he does all that for us. But Kiyama, tell us, how is Jesus our shepherd? Jesus is our shepherd because he provides for us and he even fights for us just as a shepherd will fight for his sheep. Okay. He fights for us just like a shepherd fights for his, for his sheep. Do you have an example of, a, of somebody who fought for his animals? Yes. Yes? Samuel. Uh -huh. David. He fought for his sheep. He fought a lion and a bear who tried to attack his sheep. We can read that scripture. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 34 to 35. And it says, But David said to Saul, Your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by the hair, struck it, and killed it. Good. That was David. He was keeping his father's flock. And when an animal came and wanted to kill the animals, David went and killed that bear and killed that lion and protected his father's sheep. That's exactly what Jesus does for us. He protects us from anything that would come and harm us because he is our good shepherd. Victoria, how else is Jesus? our shepherd. He guides us and protects us. He also knows us just like the shepherd knows his sheep. Jesus knows us completely just as his children. Good. Jesus knows us very well. The shepherd, the Bible says, knows his sheep and the sheep hear his voice. Jesus also knows us very well. We have a, 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 a scripture that tells us so. From which book? From Psalm, Psalm 103, verse 14. Mm -hmm. It says, For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. Jesus knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. We are so weak. We can't do things for ourselves. And so he knows us very well. And that is why he takes care of all of us and takes care of us, just like a shepherd who takes care of his sheep. Kiyama, how else is Jesus our shepherd? Jesus is our shepherd because he also laid his life for us, as you can see in John 10, verse 11 and 15. And it says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. In verse 15, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I laid down my life for the sheep. Good. Jesus also lays down his, he laid down his life for us, just like the shepherd raised down his life for the sheep. Jesus Christ died on our behalf. We were sinners, we did the wrong things, and Jesus came and died on our behalf. Boys and girls, have you done anything wrong this week? Have you, did, did some, have you done something that you are not supposed to do? Jesus Christ is our shepherd. Jesus Christ is the one who took our sins and he takes them away from us when we give them to him. He, he forgives us and he makes us his children, just like a shepherd takes care of his own sheep. So you can also repent your sins and Jesus will forgive you. He took our place. 
He died on our behalf and you can be forgiven even this day. So we are saying that, number one, Jesus is our shepherd. Jesus is our shepherd because he laid down his life. He laid down his life for us. And again, Kiyama? Jesus knows us completely. Jesus knows us completely. And again, Jesus takes care of us. He feeds us just like a shepherd does. What does a shepherd has in his hand when he is taking care of his sheep? He has a rod. A rod. And he has a staff. What are they for? A rod is used for bringing back the sheep when they have strayed. Good. The rod and the staff that the, uh, the shepherd has always brings back. Those sheep that are going astray, they are going to do to, to eat maybe in another person's field and he brings them back so that they are not going to destroy somebody's else field or they are not going to get themselves into trouble. Jesus Christ does that also for us. He brings back to himself when we have sinned and when we have done the wrong thing. And we want to pray for you. Are you there and you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord? Jesus Christ is not even your shepherd. You are not in his flock. He is calling you back. And we want to pray for you. Are you there? Kindly say this after me and after, or after us. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I come, I come to you. I pray that you forgive me. I pray that you forgive me. All my sins. All my sins. And make me your child. And make me your child. And help me. And help me. To walk in your ways. To walk in your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer with us, you are a child of God. You are a friend of Jesus. Now you have come into the flock of Jesus and he will take care of you and he will protect you and he will keep you because he is our good shepherd. Are you in need? Do you need protection? Do you even need guidance? Because the shepherd also guides his flock so that they go to where there is good grass and also good water to drink. Are you needing direction? We are going to pray for you. And Victoria is here to pray for you. All of you boys and girls who are listening to us today and you'd want the good shepherd to take care of you, to provide for you and to be with you. Shall we pray together? Yes. yes. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before my dear Father. Thank you for this day, O Lord. Thank you for waking us. Oh, my dear Father, Father, I pray that you may protect us, guide us, and provide for our needs. Oh, my dear Father, there are people who don't have school fees, oh, Lord, please provide for them, oh, Lord. Father, I pray for your protection. There is a virus, oh, my dear Father, going around the country, oh, Lord. Father, I pray that you may protect us, Jehovah, Lord. Father, I pray for everything, for even the transport, for the school and the church, Almighty, oh Father. I pray that you may protect them on the road, oh Lord. Father, I pray for everything and for your guidance, oh Lord. You may lead us to everything, that, to ways, Almighty, oh oh Father, to your ways of righteousness, oh Lord, Almighty, oh Father. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Our good shepherd will provide for you, will take care of you because he is good. And now to our memory verse. Our memory verse comes from the book of Psalm chapter 23. And it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me through still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head, my cups, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. That is our memory verse. Kindly boys and girls, 
write that down, Psalm 23, verse 1 to verse 6, and make sure that you memorize it and memorize it until you can say it without looking. And it will remind you that the Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is the one who takes care of us. And with him, we will lack nothing because he is our good Lord. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We pray that the Lord will keep you well and the Lord will bless you. And now from us, we say, Bye. Bye.